Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nitin and today we are taking a quick look. I say a quick look, but a kind of a not so quick look at Hans de Foucault Gravity Paste. Now I've had this in my styling arsenal for a while now, ever since launch. I have a bit of a kind of like hit and miss relationship with it, especially with hair like mine. Uh, I have kind of used it, enjoyed it, not used it, because as soon as my hair, the nature of my hair kind of changes as in it gets a bit longer or it's a bit shorter, I find myself reaching for other products that I may have. And Gravity Paste gets tends to used, tends to be used uh, on certain hair lengths at certain times of the year. So what I'm gonna do without further ado is just show you how I styled my hair today, a bit, bit of a natural look, and how I did it using Hans de Fuga Gravity Paste. And I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while now, and I've, I've kind of touched on it a couple of times, but I haven't done anything in depth. Now to give you an idea of how long I've had my hands on this one tub and how much I've used it or how I've kind of fallen in and out of love with this product. Um, it's 2020, I thought I'd give it another go. Um, look, it's still somewhat, you know, there's still a bit left. And guess when this was made? This one was made in 2015. I've had this for that long and it is in perfect condition. The nature of most hair products is if, if their primary ingredient is water, they will shrink a bit, but it doesn't mean that the product isn't usable. So just keep that in, in mind. This one is basically water. Aqua is the first ingredient thereafter, beeswax and various other things. So just keep that in mind, bit of a side note. So got a bit of a love-hate relationship with um, Gravity Paste. It does kind of work with hair like mine. So if you do have hair like me, it kind of works. It doesn't work. It's a little bit inconsistent. Oh, it all really depends on the kind of hairstyle you're going for. If you are trying to tame your waves or your curls, and what I mean by this is if you're looking to just control them, eh, you'll probably get away with it with Gravity Paste. If you're looking for a slick look, uh, you're going to have to make sure your hair is pretty damp uh, and to get a slick look out of this the instructions are use it on dry hair now if you have curly wavy hair and or thick curly wavy thick dense sort of hair and you're trying to go for like a David Beckham slick sort of look firstly mm, you, you're gonna probably end up tugging a lot of your hair out because the nature of your hair, the way curly hair is, is designed or grows, it grows and it's kind of like coarse and your hair will get, your hands will get stuck in it. Avoid the tug. Try to go for a style that's more complimentary. But if you are gonna go for a David Beckham kind of look, which is basically tidied, slick, blow dried to the side, again, you're gonna to have to make sure your hair is wet. This does say apply dry. Me today, although my hair is a little bit damp, I am gonna kind of try to control it, give it some style, give it some sort of structure with uh, a cold blow dryer. So I've got a blow dryer that matches the lighting here. Let's see what I can do with it. tricky to kind of do this <laughs> with the monitor up top so excuse me if I keep looking up but look at my hair now look at that you've gone cray that is just the nature of my hair and if you if you have hair like me and this is what you basically have to deal with when your hair gets a little bit long uh, look at this so I'm just gonna take a little bit of product get it work it into my hair and then see what I can do with it gravity paste from 2015. All right, like all products, I'm gonna start with a with a, just a touch, and I say this is a touch. Look, it's not much. Let's see if we can get that in there. There we go. And in some cases, 
you can apply a lot more, especially if your hair is wet, you can go for that slick look. But like I said, Gravity Paste is one of those products, I ever since its launch, I've really been a little bit hit and miss. It's like a peppery mint. Look, it's already gone. It's already gone tacky. Right, can you see that? It's got that like, kind of like little bit of a web about it. And <laughs> where did this sucker come from? Look, it's, can you see that? That is how sticky it actually is. So going into my hair, it's, or if you have hair like mine, it's gonna be so tacky. But, so let's work it in super slowly. And see what we can do with it. If you have short hair, short, straight, thin hair, or even thinning hair, because this adds pretty good volume, you could probably get away with this. But for me, it is one of those products. Like I said, it's love hate. And I'm gonna go for a bit for a natural style with this. I'm not going to try to force my hair. And this is again, just to demonstrate to you that, look, just be aware of your hair and the kind of expectations you should have for certain products. Look, so if you wanted to know about Tug, check that out. Can you see that? That is black hair. <laughs> Wish it was stuck, stuck on my head. You don't want to lose it. And I'm not saying that this will cause, you know, like I said, well, let's start again. You will not have this sort of impact on all hair types, but you have to be aware that if you are styling your hair every day, that the idea of any product that kind of has a tuggy nature of it, you have to take that into account. You're basically going to erode your hairline or various parts of your growth will thin depending on your habit of how you style your hair and where you style from it. So you could end up causing premature uh, hair loss or something that might look like hair loss, primarily because you're not giving your body, or I won't say you're not giving it, primarily because your body cannot catch up with the amount of hairstyling you're doing, so it can't grow. And you know, you'd rather just give your hair a rest. And you may have noticed I'm taking my time with this because what happens, which is really, really interesting observation that I've made, I don't know if this is, this is intentional by the guys at Hans de Fuco, but once, in, once gravity paste is in the hair where it's super, super tuggy when it first goes in, if you leave it for a moment, it starts to become really, really flexible and way more pliable. So I can already feel that that initial tug has now gone. Look at that that initial tug, that tuggy feeling is gone. And that's primarily because two things have happened. One, on my hand, any residue has now become warmer and there's a lot less on it, on my hands that is. And on the hair, again, it's become warmer and that's allowing better pliability what do you think? It's an odd one. It, it, it really is. I mean, it's super popular. Uh, as of today, I believe Gravity Paste is sold out on Moazo, but it is one of those products. You're really going to have to try it to see what works for you. And if you do have super short hair, then you're probably going to benefit from it a lot more. If you have blonde, Caucasian kind of like light brown hair again You're probably going to benefit from it a little bit more because hair like that tends to be a bit more straight fine And at the same time the matte look seems to work really well Whereas with my hair as you can see it's curly wavy. It's a little bit all over the place and It's a bit shiny So even though there's a matte nature to this product it does provide just that medium shine and in my in my experience I would say this is not only medium shine I would say this is pretty much high shine you can see all the hair that's stuck to my hand um, which is basically part of the hair styling, styling journey I'm just gonna do this one more time that 
there you go. That is my hair with gravity paste. Used a little bit. I can, if I wanted, apply a little bit more throughout the day, but it's totally up to you. Uh, all the links are below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience is like with gravity paste, with Hans de Fuqua gravity paste. There you go. That is Hans de Fuqua gravity paste. Have a great day and I'll see you again. Bye bye.